Governor, welcome back to Fox News Sunday. Um, we know this is an exceptionally trying time uh, for you, for the people of Baltimore, of Maryland more broadly. Uh, can you tell us anything about where we are in recovering those who are still missing and investigating what happened? I mean, the president has talked about the need for emergency federal money to flow in there, but do you uh, assess that eventually others may be held accountable and also contribute to what's going to be a massive rebuild? Yeah, our, our prayers continue to go out to, to these families uh, who are just living a nightmare right now. And also our prayers going out to these first responders uh, who have been working 24-7 to try to make sure that we're both giving the, 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 the closure uh, to the families that they, that they need and that they deserve. Uh, and also making sure that we can continue to open up this channel. And so the thing that we know is there will be an, an ongoing uh, investigation. There needs to be an ongoing investigation as to what happened. I want that investigation to be speedy uh, and for anyone who needs to be held accountable to be held accountable and at the same time we have got to get this channel opened we have got to get commerce flowing again and we have got to rebuild the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Yeah just a couple of notes here on the data about what happens at that port. Axio says the port supports more than 15,000 direct jobs more than 139,000 indirect jobs generating about 3.3 billion dollars in total personal income. There's a massive impact on your community there. It is, but it's, you know, and it's not just a massive impact on Maryland. Uh, this is a massive impact on the national economy. We're talking about, a, you know, one of the busiest ports inside the entire country, a port that handles more cars, more heavy trucks, more agricultural equipment than any other port inside this country. So this is not just impacting Maryland. This is impacting the farmer in Kentucky. It's impacting the auto dealer in Ohio. It's, it's impacting the restaurant uh, in, in, in Louisiana. Uh, and in, and in Tennessee, this is impacting the entire country. And so it really does become a national imperative that we can get the Port of Baltimore up and going again. And, and the support that we're seeing, uh, it's not because anyone's trying to do Maryland a favor. It's because the national economy relies on the Port of Baltimore being up and running. Yeah, and sort of a two-part question here, getting the port open and running, at least operational at some point, any, any idea on a timeline for that and then much more long-term for getting the bridge rebuilt? It is, but the, the whole operation is a remarkably complex operation, and this is this is pretty unprecedented. Uh, different than what we saw from Tampa, the different than what we saw from Minneapolis and their bridge collapse, because in this situation we have a, a ship, a vessel that is nearly the size of the Eiffel Tower, that is now stuck because the key bridge, which is three to four thousand tons of steel, is sitting on top of it. Uh, inside the water, you have debris. Inside the water, uh, you have wreckage, and uh, and you have a chance that is just clogged because the ship is still sitting there. So this is a remarkably complex operation. We know this is going to be a long road to recovery, but we know that we have to move with safety and we have to move with speed in order to get our commercial engine going again. Well, Governor, um, I, I'm glad you mentioned the first responders, too. We know people around the clock since this happened in the middle of the night have been working there. They are brave souls, and we are indebted to them uh, and to you and others who are working to right this situation. Governor, thank you. Thank you, and God bless you, and happy Easter. You too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.